Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we're gonna to do a quick start guide to the new Mocha 3D Tracker for Mocha 2024. Now I'm gonna assume you already know how to use Mocha's Planar Tracker. So I'm not gonna go over that. There are plenty of tutorials online. I do actually plan on doing a Mocha 101 class, but until then, let's start looking at this new feature and get tracking right away. Okay, so here we are already in Mocha. And this is the scene that we're going to uh, do a 3D camera solve. All right, as you can see, I've already done um, some tracks on here already. So uh, I'm not gonna go through that. You should, you know, again, I, I'm assuming you already know how to do uh, uh, planar tracking in Mocha. So I did this wall, the ground, and this back wall here, and even a subtraction wrote of the guy here so he doesn't uh, affect the 3D camera track. Okay, and again, it follows the same procedure put him on top so he does the subtraction. All right, we have a new viewing status, which is this camera solve right here. And then we get this new control panel for our 3D camera solve. Come down here to our camera solve button here. And because we want to subtract this guy right here, we're going to go and use this new column right here and click subtract. And we'll make sure these are turned on for, um, for our to calculate with our 3D track. And now all we do is hit solve. I'll go through in a much longer video on what all this stuff is. Okay, so eventually I will do that, but just to know, this is a quick start just to get started. And as you can see, we got ourselves a nice 3D track. You also get a new viewer, which up here, which is 3D, go to perspective. And as you can see, Control clicking drag, we got ourselves you know, points in space. So there we go. Got that camera. All right, now we let's go ahead and align this so it looks more correct. This and set our camera. I want to make this our origin. All right, and then make these our floor. Okay, and uh, while we're at it, let's go ahead and go to our side view. Uh, go front view. Go front view, uh, or side view, actually. Let's go to our perspective view. Okay, I wanna put those white dots more on the base surface. Come up here to cam tra camera or scene transform. And then from here, we can do the entire scene upward. All right, so it's a little bit more on that floor. Okay, so there we go. Now, let's go ahead and export this bad boy to Nuke. All right, so we go to camera export and it has a Nuke option here, but because USD is starting to become more and more kind of a thing, I'm gonna go ahead and start using the USDA uh, scene description as our fo format. So if we come in here and call it, uh, oops, that's the wrong format. There we go, USD, and save it. Um, just making sure we're doing all objects. Good. Actually, I don't want to do all objects because I want to put something on this back wall and I know exactly what that is, where that is. So let's find that surface. It is this one here. Okay, so we've there selected as white and just do select it. All right, go to US back to USD, save, we'll call it back wall. Now let's go to nuke. So we got our footage in here, do a read geo. We'll get our back wall. All right. Cool. Oh, there's our four dots. Yay. Okay. Now we need a camera. There we go. Read from file. We'll grab that USB file and plug it in here. We'll get a scene. Wow. 
and then a card geometry. And we'll move it back here to where these dots are at. And shrink it. Go ahead and put our famous Jamie was here. Icon in there. And add that to our wall. There we go. So now we have a 3D track. That's right, I forget. I start my comps at 101 by default. They start their tracks at one. And you can change that in the preferences. I literally just got downloaded the new Mocha this morning. So there's a lot of preferences I gotta go back and change. So there we go. All right, so now we should have a track comp. And look at that. But there you go. It's really, really quick. Again, I will go through and describe what all the new little buttons do. But uh, just to get you started and on your way, this video should do it for you. And as you can see, there are drop downs for other programs like After Effects and everything I like. But again, I because I use Nuke, I decided to go with the USD format because again, that's the new hotness that's gonna be probably propagated into the future. So might as well start using it. So until next time, I'll see you around and have a good day.